This morning was a very tragic one for us. Two cruise missiles hit Kharkiv, the city which is located to the borders of the Russian Federation. There were always many Russians there and they're always friendly. There were warm relations there. More than 20 universities are there. It's the city that has the largest number of universities in our country. This is called the Freedom Square. Can you imagine this morning two cruise missiles hit this Freedom Square? Dozens of killed ones. This is the price of freedom. We are fighting just for our land and for our freedom. Despite the fact that all large cities of our country are now blocked, nobody is going to enter and intervene with our freedom and country. And believe you me, every square of today, no matter what it's called, is going to be called as today Freedom Square in every city of our country. Nobody is going to break us. We are strong. We are Ukrainians. Freedom Square, Kharkiv, Russia's so-called liberation. A local government building and everything around it hit by a missile. An opera house and concert hall were also hit this morning. At least 20 people are known to have been injured so far. Today our enemy has surreptitiously started bombing the city centre of Kharkiv and the residential areas. Now we are counting the victims among the civilian population. He has no choice but to commit war crimes in this way. Our army is strong, we hold our positions. The Russians might have slowed, but they keep coming. In Oktyrka in the northeast, authorities say 70 soldiers have been killed in an artillery strike. This footage claims to show the aftermath of a strike at the base. In Kherson to the south, there are reports Russian troops have completely taken over. Ukraine's government has accused Moscow of deliberately surrounding its cities, including their ultimate pride. The resistance has slowed the advance on Kiev, but reinforcements are coming. A satellite captured what's thought to be a 40-mile-long Russian convoy moving in. Today, not as many people are taking advantage of a break in the curfew.